season, yeah, beginning of this season, the Red Devils officially opened um, the women's training center yeah, where they crazy. train. Previously, club sides like Barcelona that won the treble, won the Champions League. Group. I mean, the women's sides that produce that produce the last three Ballon d'Or winners. winners. Now, they if you go to where they, the women's side are actually training. It's unbelievable. You feel bad for people that call themselves professional footballers. Welcome back to another interesting episode with your favorite sport duo, Ife and Amara, Amara. only on Better Sport Podcast. Uh, today we have a very delicate topic to talk about. Uh, it's not one of the most popular topics you hear among pundits and all, but it's something that touches the heart. Yeah, we're going to the challenges that faces female athletes or the challenges facing most female athletes. If you put it that way. Um, first is first. I think f- I, I need to ask this question. What What is the glaring difference between men and female sports? Glaring difference? I'll probably say it's still sports. You just play by different genders. So it's the same thing. It's, you have male football, male and um, female football. You have male basketball, female basketball. It's still the same sports. Just played by different genders. Okay, for me, I think it has to be the mentality issue around it. So that difference, yeah, because in a long time, women as well have evolved into an age where they are no more seen as housewives alone. They are now seen as um, someone that can contribute to the society through sports. But in times past, it was not like that. Um, most times, most women were seen as uh, housewives, basically housewives, because and uh, why would you go and hold um, a basketball? Why would you say you want to play tennis when you should take care of the children? You should focus on how to wash their clothes, how to make them better persons in, how to make your, your children better people in the country. Why? I'll, prob- I'll, I'll probably, probably say I would say um, their role previously not just strictly just on domestic affairs. Yeah. It was more withdrawn. Yes, even if you see women in doing those roles, sporting wise, they are very very few. So we do have those people playing football, playing basketball, tennis. We have legends in the game, but they are quite few. Not as much as we do have today. That's why you had you barely had academies those days, sporting academies for the female side. Most um, of the athletes that grew up today had to come through male academies. Yes, yes. yes. And and this made me, I, I saw a story on YouTube. Yeah, This woman said um, she has always loved the sport. I'm talking about football. She has only loved the sport since she was four. But while growing up, there was this um, environment that didn't foster that love. And she had to, like, keep it aside. Yeah. Like, But she was so happy about the turn up of the how this aid has gone. You know, actually, this wild COVID of sport, I'm talking about football now, really came to... Um, I don't know, full capacity, maybe because of this recent generation at the Euros, the one that England just won yes. before the World Cup. You know, I think England, was, definitely. I yes. think England, England, the Euros, the Euros selling out Wembley, um, playing at Old Trafford, in. selling out big stadiums in England. Just like the place where um, sports were banned for women yes. for years. Now, I think definitely the Euros changed so many things women-wise. Even before that time, we saw Barcelona women in football I'm um, selling out the camp now. Yes, we also yeah. saw we saw Arsenal also playing at the Emirates. Emirates Chelsea Stadium, women yeah. play at the, the Stanford Bid. Yes, play at Old Trafford. Also in in in, in Italy, you see um, Juventus um, club sides Even now. Roma, Roma because most times too. when you say this club is um, Juventus um, football club or AS Roma or you say Manchester United is a club, a full club on its own, and it consists of. Male, male, female, male, and youth. young youths, yeah. youth, youth players. So when you um don't give the women the opportunity to play in those big stadiums, because someone like playing in Old Trafford is a theater of dream, like where people have legends, Idolized, legends yeah. have been there, yeah. legends have played there. So as a woman and you're playing in that particular club side, it will be somehow funny and somehow sad also that you've not never played your football match in that particular game. So kudos to um. Well, it's a good um, um, change in, in things from time past now that we're seeing women football being played in 
the club stadium, the main club stadium. People say it's the male stadium. Yes, because Old Trafford basically are the, the home to yes, the Manchester United yes, men's yes, side. The side. They were seeing women now come and sell out um stadium and play in a particular place. So, so far, so good. Well, I think it's a thing of joy. Uh, that's the only football aspect. Have some other weird uh, facts for you. Uh, mind me if I read them. Uh, at, do you know that athletics, the women, they put on lighter shorts in athletics. They throw lighter discourses and leap over lower hurdles than the men do. Well, the first thing I have to know is that why it's called male and female foot sports now is because it's played by, like I said before, the men and the and women. The and then the men are different from the women. Yes, we are all created by God in his image. But, but then we have <laughs> different capacity now. Now you can probably see the fastest woman um, probably will not be able to qualify for probably fast races for, yeah. for the male sides. So it's different categories. The only difference there is that it's played by the women and this one is played by the men. So, but then both sides are both different individuals, both quality wise, physique wise, um, our system wise, we are quite different or like two different gender. Yeah. This is why it's called male and the female side. So the only but, difference I excited is just that the attributes to a guy is quite, uh, make them a bit more um, faster, stronger, yeah. he, and more heavier than the women's side. So, Okay. Well, because some, some women too actually they they clamor for the fact that um since since it's a it's a universal sport it does not have to we have to do what the men are doing we have to do this we have to do that but also even in the nba uh, the women ball has actually is actually lighter the women ball is lighter that's what i'm saying now it does feels feel, it does goes down to the physicality structure on how a man is built and how a woman is built you don't expect a woman to be probably carrying the same number of lifts that the men are also carrying. Okay, so what do you now want to say about volleyball, where the women use a lower net? That's what I'm saying, the same thing. Because the attribute of, when, when, you, when, you, when you're in a car, for instance, and you, probably appearance-wise, you see a woman from afar, and you say this woman is actually tall yeah. by stature, and then you see a guy from afar saying this guy is actually short. But when both sides, both the women and the men stand close to each other, the difference is not that much. Because it's just the way a man is built. Adapt. So exactly. So but you can't you can't give instruments that um the guys are playing the same um to the to women's side also. You can't do that. Well, uh in recent times, though in football now, things have actually changed as men men balls uh, are now likely the same thing with women because actually women's football was actually lighter in uh, around uh, until around nineteen ninety. It was lighter until around 1990. But now, I think everybody, they, they were like, I, I saw some some reviews and what, was, what I was saying was that some some actually argued that why football is the same thing because of the kind of physique, you know, the kind of fitness, the juice that men take to get fit for a game, women can also take it to get fit. So as to get that um entertaining factor that you see in male side and also see it in the female side. Because some people will still argue why men, uh, why men's sports actually um, sell more is because it's more entertaining. Mm, and some will still argue that, uh, no, it's the same thing. It's basically the same thing. You, are, you have to blend it. But do you think it's true? Well, the first thing has to be that the fact that there is a well-known, yes, even though the guys will say, yes, um, definitely the men sell out stadiums, the men sport is more popular. Um, but then there is definitely an inequality when it comes to sports generally, both men and female. Now, you see um, a young child growing up, like I said before, most athletes that grow up are women. They had they have to come through male academy. So what happened to having a female academy? It can't just be because um, of the attributes, physical attribute of a guy, different from a woman, is the reason why the disparity is too wide because the gap is very wide. Now, but it's, in recent it's, times, it's boys that, down has quite still hasn't recent. closed. There are lots of factors there. Now you follow start from the ground up. Now when you from the up from the top level actually, um, when you go to FIFA for instance, FIFA is the governing body of sports, right? Yeah. Um, when you go to FIFA, down to probably here in Nigeria, we have NFF. Now, how many women are in power? Because one thing about power is the fact that when you are in charge of things, you probably advocate for things yeah, in that yeah, particular yeah. aspect now. So if if you have at least a big percentage of women in, in um, board of directors being in charge of 
sporting activities in the world, definitely these women will also want to speak out and talk about, about yes, and own, chipping. They are definitely change things and, for the women's side. Then you check the power, power given to women. How many women have, have ever been the FIFA president or NFF president, for instance? Or in the board of NFF or FIFA, how many women actually yeah, are, are sitting down there in power to speak on? Because this is something that both male and female are both playing. And this governing body governs both, both sides. Male and so why the disparity? Probably the, change, the, the balance there probably is up to, not even balance, the imbalance there is close to 90-10. Or probably 95, 95, 95, 5. That's 95 guys and then five to the female side. I, I, so I it, think it's, if, if you say in, in, in our national side, it's, it's, it's probably like that. But around the world, it has quite changed. Well, things are changed, but then the gap is still not much. We're not saying, because people are saying, get it 50 50. It's be very yeah. hard because not, not, not so many women are into, um, into and sports. Works and in sports, exactly. Now, sports. But then, but the, the gap between those on top in power that overseen affairs when it comes to sports in the world, the gap where you have women in power, they're sitting and making decisions, the gap is too much. Now, away from the power now, down to probably the media, for instance. Now, um, the time and um, the time slots, the rates given to the men, the marketing, the media houses give to uh, male athletes. Yes. It's different from the female okay. athletes. Okay, you know, I asked a question before. That do you think the reason um male female side are not being this is because it's not as entertaining as the men? Entertaining. First of all, what is entertaining there? Because uh, entertainment, when, when, when entertainment people see when people, people, people see no, now. when people see when people see um something in their faces, you come on TV, for instance, you turn on your TV set and you see a female sports game going on today. The next day you come on again and you see it again. The next day, you get just accustomed to the fact that you will always see it on your TV set and you will want to watch it. You will start gradually pay attention to those things. But then when you barely find where to be able to watch the women's game, so how then do you not enjoy something you have no idea about? Because the men, Premier League games are on, on TV. The NBA games are on TV. Tennis games are on TV. Do you understand? These male sports, you're seeing them visually every time. So even for games that or or, or um, sporting activities you don't even like, the moment you keep seeing them, you there's something I call pick it interest. Yeah. You definitely want to know what this, this game is about. Probably browse it out. How is this game being played? What's the rules surrounding this game? But when the media aren't even given the female side, the female sports athletes, Premier League matches that were shown on TV every every weekend that the matches. Yeah. All of the BSL, all of the Liga F. These games are not. We hardly see them. Probably just one or two channels I, I showing see, it. I, I see some, Probably some, just some one or two channels showing it. Highlights. Yeah. I'm not about the main game itself. There's few. There are few, but at least there's still. You see, the, there's a derby match like Manchester City against United. It's on TV. Everybody's turning to turning to watch it. What about the women's side? They also have the Manchester United side and the and the women's side. So what happens to watching the derby matches on TV? If every 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 fan keep watching these games. When it's shown on TV and spoken about it, at some point, when I'm always pestering you about something, at some point you become probably you pick your interest or become like annoying. That what's this person always disturbing me for? Do you understand? Like I, I, I go to stress your life, stress your life. I go worry you say, hey, I watch this thing, watch this thing. At some point you want to like let me even watch this thing. This guy is talking about, but then not man watch these things now. Not seeing where to watch them. Probably have to now start streaming it. When you talk about streaming, people want to talk about data because it's something you want to see. It's when you watch it for, for a while and then you now understand, okay, okay, this is something I have interest in and you're enjoying it. But something you don't watch at all, then how then you now say it's not fun? Now, uh, okay, I'm still talking about this entertainment issue because I know that before anybody will put invest their money into anything, they must have checked it and see, that, okay, uh, this is the quality of this clothes I want to buy. Is this thing going to last? Is, this, is it going to last? Check the quality of what they want to buy. So before they invest their money, probably they might have seen some snippets here and there or sent representatives to those fields. When farmers want to go and farm, do they first of all advertise or think about the harvest they will make? They will sow, first of all. Mm -hmm. And then probably go and reap from it. You don't say, okay, I'm going to think about the harvest. I'm going to harvest a large number of corn or this and that. And before I think of harvesting. We're not all investors who think the way you think. Mm. But <laughs> it's, it's, it's a See, whole, the, it's the, the, the inequality is not about the fact that people are saying, Women football or women's sports is not entertaining or probably the word is boring. 
have you watched them? How many times have you watched? You see fans of, I'm a Chelsea fan, I'm a fan of this club, I'm a fan of this club, I'm a Golden State Warrior fan, I'm a Golden, whatever fan you are. Have you sat down and like for at least one full match Probably day watch. or an entire season and watch that team play? You've not. But because the one in your face, because even if you don't but want to watch, for instance, now you don't want to watch um, a lower team side in Premier League. You don't watch them on TV, but yeah, you're not at Chelsea. home. You're bored and at home. You turn on your TV set and the game on TV is a team that you don't even support. But, but you time. watch it. That's the truth. So if, if they... they uh, if all these people are seeing all these games on TV sets, more media coverage to these games, then you can start saying, okay, it's, not, it's actually boring, but it's interesting. The World Cup that people follow, that, that the, 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 the yeah, World Cup in New Zealand, one, yes. You saw people that are watching the game. Million. You saw, you saw what yes. happened. You saw even Nigeria here where some people that left their shops and went to roadside to go and start standing and watching the Super Falcons. Not Super Eagles, though, Super Falcons. In the afternoon, because these games were actually played yeah, early yeah, in the morning. Yes, not even afternoon, morning. Self, in, in the, the morning, morning time. Yes. So and people left their shops. People seven. left their shops, left their work, and went to watch the women's side. Now, if, because we're on TV, on TV. Yeah. Now, but when you think about the fact that maybe you want to watch this particular team, and you think that, ah, so it's even on street. TV. You have to go and search data. for all these things. Yeah, data. The interest the already starts down. dropping. Yeah. That's just the truth. So, Media have to play a huge part. You see how they say, ah, this is media hype for male athletes. Yeah. They'll be like, this is a one season wonder. But then the media is always hyping him, talking about this. You know, England, England media, for instance. Something like Jude Bellingham. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to mention the new. No, I didn't say Bellingham is a fantastic, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a good yeah, player. A good player. He's a good player. Right. How can you leave a club and a club retire jersey for you? Okay. Club any high player. It's not, like, Easy. it's not like it's not like it's not like Antonio now. The Ayers went on, was, went on with no, their life. You can't compare Antonio. That I'm saying now. William so William. so now those those teams now, all the stress of going to go and check where you want to stream those games and all that. They went to not see it in your faces constantly. You don't have the willpower to go and start searching for it. It takes takes love and passion and dedication to start going extra miles to go and yeah, watch too. games. People go through a whole lot to watch. I can't even say some things. I, I can't even say some things now. If I want to watch, I mean, I want to watch my United women, women, for instance, and I'm going to the normal app where they used to show it, and it's not, it's not available in Nigeria. I do some things that will make people available in Nigeria for me. <laughs> but, I hack, but I won't say the thing. Hack. They catch you. No, I didn't say I hack anything. But Sorry I had to you, take... she's personal. I'm, no. No, I'm not part of No, I didn't say hack. Oh, if you from ca- your if own you mouth. Her, I'm not, you know, you I are said, wait, see, no, no, let, let me explain no. myself so that... Be, because I said they no. They see me and you now be in camera. They will say that we are we are both accomplished. We're partners in crime. No, we are not. We're in, Sorry, we're partners in crime. That's sports do. You said do. Well, uh, hey. No, the fact, the, the fact, see, the fact is that eh, now if you want to watch My United, you don't have to just do too much. You own your TV set <laughs> and it's there. <laughs> but if you want to watch a women My United side now, the women's side, you know, just on your TV set and it's there. It's not there. No. You have to go and search for it. But and I, people I don't like searching some. for it. Some. How many? I think recently. Mm. I rest my case. But before we even look at even solutions, eh? okay. I think we should, as, as we are talking about the challenges, let's just add the solutions to it. So hmm. for these challenges for these, are a whole lot. Eh? Challenges, because challenges now, are now look at now. Go to when you go to um this season, this season, yeah, beginning of this season, the club I support, the Red Devils, officially opened um the women's training center yeah, where they right. train previously club sides like barcelona that won the treble won the champions league over. i mean the women's side that produced that produced the last three ballon d'or winners. winners now they if you go to where they the women's side are actually training it's unbelievable it you feel bad for people that call themselves professional footballers because some of them some of the women's sides take like all this crap from what the guys are no more using anymore like, like, they just come here now, they arrange this like, set like this. Finish any my query, man. They can't say, Are yeah, you come and yeah, use this one? Which is not right because this club, the full club itself, is in charge of body male, female, and yeah, academy. Yeah. So, as you whatever thing you're giving to the male side, also the women also give, deserve it. it. First of all, they are, wom- they are women, they are women beings like body guys, too. You don't have to start giving them leftovers, which is what they have been giving them for a while now. Don't give them leftovers. Put attention in these particular professionals because some of them even do better than some male counterparts. Yes. Like, like, like who? 
na dozi. Like na dozi. Exactly. Use Nigeria for instance, Super Eagles. We're, we're crying for a number one in the Super why, Eagles. Why, why and we're basking for our own in he's, Super Falcons. So well in Champions League. Female Champions League. Saving penalties, crashing, defeating us now. now defeating Wolves. Apart from that now, apart from that particular aspect now, you go down to the funding. The money, the money they, they pump into, into the, the male, f- male sports is different from what they pump into the female sports. It's like an afterthought. Like, ah, they may even they say, maybe we'll do give them something. Very wrong. Uh, okay, what do you think should change in that aspect? Because all these issues that this particular one, the few ones we've talking about now, I think it has to do with an orientation. Like now, even club owners, there are club owners who I just bought the club because I've been supporting this club since I was a I was a young boy. And Glazers, I, I Glazers of my United. Hey. When they came, when they when they bought, it's my club. It's my club. Now, when they came into my United, when they signed, they 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 signed the club. I mean, when they signed the club for the first time, they they disbanded the women's side. side, Now, to them, they said they're not doing well, and they can't pump in money to something that probably not doing well. But I'm saying that you cannot reap from something you don't don't sow. sow. You don't just expect to go to your farm and start collecting, harvesting yam. When meanwhile, you didn't plant anything there. Now, they disbanded the side. Now, in 2018. They woke up from their sleep after much stick from media. Yes, and and then they created like another Chelsea team. Had already, like, now they had now too. they had um they have youth sexist system for the women's side. Now one thing about um sports is consistency and growth. Now when these players leave from the under twenty to under under um, under twelve to under yeah, twenty, and they not see a senior team, they will go straight into what's it's the next team? To another club. Now, okay, when they formed them in 2018, they have to bring back some of these players that left. Now, few this season, the club does play the first Champions League, even if they, they, are, they are out already. Yeah, they are out. So the first Champions League playoff. And then among them, like four players who were core academy, academy, yes. So this is something that you want to see. When you see a big club like AC Milan doing well, Inter Milan doing well, Barcelona doing well, Most Madrid both. doing well, Wolfsburg doing well, Ajax doing well, Benfica doing but well, Man City doing well. Long you long also time. want to see the women's side also doing well because it's like Man City team now. You see them want they want to treble, but then their female team is not far off from the success. They have they fantastic player. They are simply on track. Exactly. So it's a club that if you want to own a, a franchise or a particular club, you have to own go everything. with everything. You, you don't want... just separate the male from the female side and then. The male one gives the entire priority. How in Nigeria here yeah, is football that gets priority and every other sport is the background. Okay, now moving away from football, um, what about athletics now? But athletes now, the same problem male male athletes face is quite the same that female face. Because which problem? Now, um track, not enough tracks to, uh, to bringing it back to our local city. Okay. Not enough tracks to train. Um, fewer competitions to no. See Nigeria, own problem, not different thing. Hmm? See, yeah, our our sports. You know they say Nigeria have to take sports as a business. The moment we take sports serious as a business, because as a businessman, you don't want to your Most investment to die. Yeah. So the moment everybody in charge of sports in Nigeria takes sports as a business, then we we'll start growing. So everything that the male, even even at that still. If Super Eagles are going to um, going to Afcon or going to World Cup preparation, it's very different from the male side. Yes, we still hear unpaid wages, unpaid this, this and that, but it's more from the women's side than the male side. Even here in Nigeria, it does the thing. Even when you say, okay, the athletes are uh, ah, this one happened or the road track, the road just to go to the World Cup or uh, to any um, competition you're going to present Nigeria. Yeah. It happens generally, yes. But when you talk about the ones, like I said, it's football that takes priority in Nigeria here. And the the government or people in charge of the football federation, they look more on the Super Eagles than the Super Falcons. Like I said earlier, Super Falcons are the most, most successful, successful African team. African team. In Nigeria, they are more successful than the Super, super Eagles themselves. Very, very but who takes the number one sport? Super Eagles. That's just three the time team. African champion. Three times as compared to what? 11 times African champion. Time. Uh-huh. But all these things now are things, like I said, you cannot just change, wake up one day and say you want to change, change. things. So, it's a gradual process. Like I said now, Arsenal, Arsenal are now selling out Emirates. Mm-hmm. Last season, Barcelona women sold out Camp Nou more than 
the highest population that the guys, um, the male side had when they were still playing at, at Camp Nou. Now, um, for the World Cup, so what happened at the World Cup? So what yeah. happened at the Euros? These are things that are changing quietly. For instance, when it comes about equal pay, people will say, eh, because when you say, okay, Manchester Derby, male and female side, which of these games pull more crowd into the stadium? Which game will you benefit from? Fine and good is definitely the male side. But then the disparity should not be that wide because it's very wide. People are saying, um, US, US national, national team said, when you talk about um, um, football in USA, the female side are more successful than the male side. Yeah. They want to work up it. over and over, over again. And over. That's why they were, they enforced and they protested till they got yeah, equal, equal pay. pay. Some countryside, Canada, Canada, that's equal, that's Canada that's female that's sides are more successful than the male side. Do you understand? Like I said, so pay, you should pay these female athletes as an athlete that is doing well in a particular field, not because the person is a male, the person is a female. Yeah. As long as she's doing what she's supposed to do and she's doing it well, keep her her money. Look in sports, for instance, now, the highest number of the transfer fee for the women's side, I think the highest probably is 500, 400, 500. 400K. That was Kira Walsh going to Barcelona. Yeah. It's 400K. And that's a peanut for the male side. The highest for the male side was Neymar. Moving from Barcelona to PSG. For how much? 222 million Thank euros. Thank you very much. For women, I was saying K. K. But for men, we said me. 222 million. Even that time, it broke my heart. Neymar leave MSN. Can't leave her to MS. <laughs> <laughs> leave, leave Barcelona and Neymar's problem. But I'm talking about now, the female side. Men's side now. I'm not leaving. I don't leave, leave Barcelona problem. I'm not leaving. Can't turn your heads now. Can't turn your head now. Chebi... Uh, Messi won Ballon d'Or and then people were like Barcelona is always tweeting as though that Messi's on loan from the club. I understand but that Messi he's a legend. Of course. But you guys need to move on. When you break up, like, like they don't want to move on from that ex, that relationship. Messi still doesn't want to move on. They like, where's he playing for in Miami? Did, when, when he won Ballon d'Or, where did, did he go back and, and say welcome? Where? Did you, hear, did you hear Spanish and that is, is his this thing? I was hearing the escrow, press, escrow, press. <laughs> <laughs> Let's come what? <laughs> See, eh, he has left Barcelona, played for PSG. He will enter the... Okay. Well, I, I think one solution we, we really need to look at is has to be the orientation. Now, if for anybody that's going to own a club, there has to be a constitution. Like a const- I'm sure they... I'm, I'm, I'm sure I think they... Calf, is, calf, right? calf rule eh, for club sides um, in Nigeria... Well, in, in Africa, if you want to play CAF Confederations Cup and CAF, um, you, have to have a female you must team. have, have a, a, a female, female side. Now, that's a good one. But only the first thing is that to be more personnel, female personnel in yeah. charge of decision making in sports. Give the women a chance to come in. I don't just mean because they, they I don't just mean because they're a person at home and say, I come inside. Though. No. But give the women chance to oversee affairs. There's always this, um, yeah, I, I there's always this stereotype that ah, now woman, what is she happy for? What is she happy for sports? Some even even on, on social media, when a woman, a girl, uh, a female account tweets something about sports, you will see guys under the comments laughing like ah, what is she happy? My friends, stick to the kitchen. That's always stereotyping that uh, women are just meant to be in the kitchen alone. It should be it's a general sports. We all enjoy it. Definitely, some people know it more than you. But the fact that you're saying that the person is more. Um, Knows this field more because the person is of it's course a, the person's it's agenda. It's agenda. It's very, it's very I, I, wrong. I think I understand your point of view because once a, a female is actually in those top positions, now the female might have even had the opportunity to head, um, like female sports, female tennis, female, and I know what, but because now you know when the shoe is women pinching go, you, women, women, do you women understand? Are, they go through periods. Sometimes their kids are not. Most times. It's just recently that it's even going far. Look at the guy. Look for the, look for the guys now. For when when guys um give births, when they get married or they just give births now, okay, they don't take they, they don't take births now. I mean when they, they I mean by their spouse now, okay. because when you say Explain God has no, blessed us, you know wait, now. <laughs> when they say when, when <laughs> a man in the church coming. now or anywhere in the testimony you say the God has God has blessed us. Do you understand the hand? So when you guys give birth, most of the women say. I'm pregnant. They don't say I'm pregnant. They say we are pregnant because it's a two-way thing. Sure you get a hand. So Thank when the guys, time. when the guys put to bed, I don't mean they actually put to bed themselves, but their because spouse. Say when a couple. When, when a couple, couple put to bed. And the, and the, and the, wait now, and the guy is an athlete. 
he doesn't leave things for uh, entire nine months or for maternity leave and go. Mm. He probably have take few times off to go and attend and stay with his wife. But then he comes back quickly to come and start playing the game he loves. Serena, Serena Williams had to leave um, this thing. For Naomi Osaka had to leave. Yet. So even for both players that, players that give birth, Alex they Morgan leave too. for a while and then they come back. So there's already a whole lot of... It, I want it, to it, for it's a, something a woman that a already. woman would personally understand because he's in that capacity. Exactly. So if you allow more, the f- that's the first thing. That around those sports. When you allow the um the body making decisions for sports in the world, include women that will probably table these affairs there and bring out solutions. That's the first step. Now another one to do is grassroots because everything is on the ground up. Now this should have it should be more not the same way in 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 primary schools or in kindergarten level. You're asking you a, a child, what mm-hmm. do you want to play? They will say, guys, girls, go and skip. Guys, take football. Even when you're in your house, they will give your, your child gift self. They will buy ball for the boy. They will buy, they will buy uh, what? Barbie. Uh, for yeah, the girl. Barbie for the what girl. if the girl actually wants to be playing the football? So from the ground level, the academy, there should be more, more openings, more avenues for girls that actually want to go into sports. Into sport. Yes. Badminton, tennis, um, basketball, Golf. football. Athletics, whatever. Swimming. They should be have lots of academies for women. Now, talk about um. Well, we are trying. More, we, are, more, we are trying in Nigeria. We are Nigeria. Trying. We are trying because he said. I mean, I mean, talk, talk, talking about other sports, tennis. If you go to the um, um, the tennis club in Lagos Island, yeah, you will see mostly females there. Mm-hmm. If you go to golf, you will see females there. Okay. If you check um. Some other recreational activity. As I the only one that you see men dominating the most is football. Football, and that's because we are a footballing nation. That's in Nigeria. That's because they are not so they're not see one thing about it because you know Nigeria get as get as things be as you late night playing ball, guys, one of us give you sounding slap. Eh? You get, you but get, you get one day. but the fact that they'll say, ah, you say I'm going to and play ball. Even as guys, when you're growing up, you you, you collect beating for your parents now. Talk and you're not a girl. Ah, African setting. You say you want to go and play ball. You carry you carry your boots. Say you want to go play ball. From where? Do you understand? So there needs to be more um, friendly environments where females that want to play football in Nigeria can go and go and play. That's just the thing. Create this avenues. Let's now be that they didn't come by themselves. Eh uh-huh. hey, by their own self, they carry a two left leg come because. If you have openings that ah, we have this place, this, 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 people want to go and try out. So I think you have to give kudos to Asisa Toshola, um, Ajibade. So many people like I'm probably who won't call. Even there are so yeah, many um, um, ex players or Those current players that, that have academies. Put academies for uh, the females like, because uh, the more visibility we get to see, the more stars that. Our country might likely produce to the world. Fund them. Fund the women's sides. We are not after Even thoughts. Even men, Seb. They never fund, fund men. They are funding... Uh, I'm talking about general. I'm talking about Nigeria just, now. Just say, just say, In general, fund sports, fund sports, sports, especially the women. Mm, yes. In should Colum, fund. In, yes, fund sports, especially the women. We are not after thoughts. We are, first of all, human beings, just like the male sides. So if a woman wants to grow up and be a footballer, a basketballer, she should have the same opportunity the guys have to grow her dreams. Not because say, ah, she be a woman, then she will not go and go into something like that. No. Well, it's Nigeria that we have to see something like that. But in Norway, in Norway, yeah. there's one sport that is that is more loud than the women. What's that? Ambo, okay. It's more it's much more celebrated than uh, the men's side. Men, nothing concerned them. That's what I'm saying now. Some some countries in the world, Canada female national team, they, they've won the Olympics. What are the guys doing? They don't try. The US team. Representation. They don't represent the represent. The women's side for the US team. What have they done? They, they, they don't win World Cup. Women's <laughs> side now. You say women's side, they don't win World Cup. Back <laughs> they make, to back they to make back. you laugh. But the men, Clint Dempsey, I remember that goal. <laughs> Did he win the World Ghana. Cup? Did he win the World they Cup? They try sometimes. They got to semi finals. Got eh, quarter final actually. No, it's the same opportunity and support you afford the male um, athletes in sports. That same hand should be given to the women's side. Okay. Don't make it whatever. I'm going to even use Ballon d'Or. I'm calling them out. Mm. Yes. Well, when the Ballon d'Or was officially announced, now they 
categories they have the um, Ballon d'Or for the female side and the male side. They have um the starting eleven or yeah. team or, or starting yeah, eleven team, team yeah. yes for the male and the female side. They had a copper trophy yeah. for the male side. I didn't say anyone for the women's side. Is a, is a new Wait now. Is a new they had a, they had a Yashin 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 yeah, trophy yeah. for the best goalkeeper. What happened to the Yashinis well, they gave, they gave for the women's side? Yes, now they give me the yes, in UEFA. You know, give me that's yes. FIFA. I'm talking yes. about Ballon d'Or right now. So I'm is, calling Ballon d'Or. That, that is the France French, football. I'm yeah, calling that, them out. That's the France football federation. That's what what they want to. Do. The, that's what I'm saying. So you are celebrating sports okay. in general. They they it's said Barcelona Barcelona female are the team. A female women team of the, of year. the year. Man City are the men's team of the year. You give some categories, male and female. So Why what happens to exactly? Uh, it is just accept this excuse. It's this excuse go. I didn't mean France had gotten to bravery the final. Okay. So they might have got it in. So now they are trying a bit it's, now. It's, going, down, going down to UEFA now. We have UEFA Champions League men. We have UEFA Europa League. Yeah. We don't have Conference League long no, no. They have UEFA Nations League. We brought us recently. Probably yeah. it's in the third edition. Now, of recent, they brought that Nations League for the women's side, capping for them. Started, and then they have Champions, Champions League. League for the now, side. for the Champions League this season, Paris FC, thanks to Chama Canadozi and her team, kicked out Arsenal and Wolfsburg, who were the finalists in the last tournament. Yes. Now, if there's a Europa, um, Europa League for the women's side, it would be, it would be a better Europa idea. League. Europa League. You have Champions League and Europa League. Like I said. What happened to having Champions League yeah. and Europa League for the new, women's side? New development. New development. It, it's, certainly, it's going to come. It's going to come. But they're taking it step, step by step. The, when Champions League gets... When the women's so Champions I'm giving you bombastic now, side eyes. When the women's Champions League gets to an extent where there will be for how long? four teams. There will be four teams from each country. There will be three teams from each country. I think then they will want to extend it. The ones that, the Europa ones League. that, see, now, now the format, no, the format, now, the format yeah. they are using in UEFA is favoring the smaller teams to probably, because normally they're using the format of top two or top three sides. Okay, maybe you see Paris FC, but then some other teams you know, you will not see there, thanks to qualifiers, probably won't see them in that particular one. But what I'm saying is that you're expanding the Champions yes. League to probably more slots because even in the leagues now, like, WSL in the England side have just 12 teams present as compared to 20 for the Premier for the League. Main, main now, yes, one of that, even in that 12 teams, even one or two of them go to Champions League. Any the other two that finish in the top four or the top three, only one person go to the Europa League and go and play. Now, you saw AS Roma, to, you saw West Ham. No, AS Roma the for side. the main side and AM. Um, West Ham for the male side, Europa the league two of them won. League. Exactly. For the first time in a very long time. If they don't have Conference League, you see, Eric Eshuma won't win. That's why they did If that. there was That's no Europa League, what would West Ham win? That's why they did those trophies. They didn't win Europa it's, League. They won Conference well, League the as conference well. League, yes. The conference yes. League, so they, exactly. they, they, they won the trophy. So if there's no Conference um, conference League trophy, what would AS Roma and West Ham win? And I said, that, okay, the first trophy, European trophy in a very long time. But this, the same way is the first trophy in a long time. That's the same way it will also be when the women's But Europa sport, League has been on when, for a very long time. When they went, now, the women's, the women's football, the women's Champions League will probably get to that level. Once it gets to that level, I know that there's going to be a place where it's, it's, you know, it's this mark. It's your uncle or father in the UEFA board. Probably Tell me I now, so we know. Probably I see myself there. My friend. And I will affect that. I have already called France football out already. So and you, the rest. You don't come yourself a ballon de or hmm? ballon de or <laughs> in case in case they all call you and say yeah, no no it doesn't matter even go on my social media page I, yesterday I was asking them if they don't, don't know the name to call the Yashin Trophy should ask us fans we'll give them a name Yashin. <laughs> Yashin <laughs> you don't have a trophy. name for Yashin Trophy or the Copper Trophy for the female side give us a name this girl did so well um, Caicedo did Salma well Salma Parabello did well in the, that, in the World Cup now this is something that she probably, probably should have the won. They, they look, because Copa she was sitting beside, at that particular day, she was sitting beside Jude Belly. Um, yes. Won the Copa Trophy. And I don't know. The eye, even when Even was Linda Caicedo self was, was there. You, it was Linda Do you Caicedo understand? Of, yes. She, she was saying, no, she, Vinicius, and um, they're all um, Madrid, fan Madrid players. So they came together. Now, you are calling a player, a young player, because he's still young, to go and pick up a Copa Trophy. And she's also young. Very, very young. And there is no Copa Trophy so for well. the women's side. She did so well too. Okay, of recent they had always had Golden Boy. Do you understand? The one Marshall, Ronaldo, yeah. um, Brini. Ma 
Masha won it. Yeah, he won Forgotten. It, but now, you know, that ballon d'or, it doesn't it matter. Not uh, leave that one. <laughs> but I mean, they had golden boy. It's recently they had golden girl. Yeah. Yes, yes, they do yes. have it now. That so we should it. always have. And now, extend those they same will extend the, me, I'm not saying the, they will this time mm. the way that they just brought out golden gear, they will still bring out Yashini <laughs> this time. That is, he say, I think, you, ah, I don't say, I feel like speaking Yoruba, that is something that is far, is eyes that are, uh, say it in Yoruba. What does it say? Say it in Yoruba. Really, yeah, yeah, you're, you're, you're just cutting your rep. You can't even say, speak I Yoruba. I can't really, I can't. Conjoin the words ah, together. Jesus Christ. Probably my Yoruba fans they denounce will, will your Yoruba slot, sleep. They will slaughter me. They will, you will change do. your, probably change your, what do you call it? Well, your ancestors are looking leave, at leave you. That one. Well, my own is that straight up. Okay. Powers be given to be women to be involved Number in sports. One. More academies for the female side. Number two. Do you understand? Um, funding, advertisement, okay. media coverage. Do you understand? We can't get equal pay. Well, the World Cup tried a bit by paying every um, athlete that going to, going to the World Cup a certain amount of money. But still, it's still, but still, but still, still, the money they gave them is still quite far from what the male side got at the World Cup. But it's still something. It's a like I said, it's a, pro, it's a yeah, progress. Yes. And you cannot just change things overnight. Yeah. But they should show us working steps. And one very important thing is the fact that there's this sexism in football. You always hear you always hear oh, may, talk about that. definitely. You always hear um, probably a lot happening in the Spanish side. They want the World Cup. It's all happened with the, the coach, the FA president. Here, the Zambia, the Zambia coach issue. Yeah, all these things are because a, a man is coaching um, a male yeah, side, yeah. a female team, and he will not treat the um, the female team like every normal male team he's coaching. Like a normal, in fact, not even male team. Treat the teams like normal like normal league. players, why, like normal woman being. Why man go the enter dressing room with plenty women? Day. We all of them. <clears> why man go? I just enter. said my own is that that's those sexism stereotype in women's football needs to be eradicated totally. People should always speak more about this issue because, as an athlete or as a child, young child growing up, there are things that you should not want to not experience. Just as a, as a woman, because even as a woman, if, if you grow up in anywhere in the world, you're struggling. Because you, you wear some kind of clothes, like, ah, something happens to you, you say, yes, it's because you yeah, are, you, 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 you drew it to yourself. It shouldn't be that way. The fact that you are a, a, of another gender coaching the women's side doesn't mean that you want to take advantage of those players and you're okay. Treat them the same way you would treat the male um, um, athletes. Side. Also, so just do your job and get on with it. No stories about uh, social molestation, doing this, doing that. I saw that that I, I that kiss at that World Cup. Just imagine Spain won the World Cup for the first time in their history, and what was trending was somebody kissed somebody on the world stage, and, and that was like the second thing. Everything that happened so just be a moment of celebration. Morocco didn't even win the World Cup, but it's so hard to celebrate in Morocco. Yeah. Now, Spain that actually won the World Cup. It's so hard Argentina celebrated the World Cup. Now, yes. Spain that actually won the World Cup. Couldn't celebrate because they are still having issues, got issues about a certain man that can just respect himself. How do you hang, grab one? Like you may kiss your bride. Now, she, she your bride. That issue is one for another day. Another day. Another day. Okay. Well, quickly before we end this episode, have a quick game for you. Big game. <laughs> yeah, you no, know, no big. Okay. Now it's five, four, three, two, one. So ah, this one. Talk <laughs> now. <laughs> Why are you pause? Are you the, scared? Is, is now the, we enter is, you. Is the is the way for me? No, no I'm, I'm not talking like this, this now. I'm focused. Oh yeah. yeah focused. Go ahead. Okay. Hit me now. Not hit me now. Oh. Hit me. I can't, I can't even hold anything. So, I want you to name five. So, it's not even five. Mm. Five f- female footballers that their name starts with A. Ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> you are advocates of women football. You must know it, though. You must know it. You must, you must know it. Amanda. This episode will not end. Amanda. Amanda, I listen. Uh-huh. Uh, um, Sweden. I, I remember. Oh, my God. It's more. Ah. Uh, you must finish it though. Five, two, four, three, two, one. I'm at the hurry. Ah, you say the names that I mean, I don't know that. Like, hey, you say I, the names you, that I mean, I don't know that. That's the thing now. I'm at the hurry. 
Say the Nigerian's name. Nigerian. Don't, you can even start Asisa with their son name. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. You can use their son name before they are... Before they um, name. I'm helping you out too. No, no, no need. Yeah, Just yeah. telling their names yeah. I know for. Two yeah, more, yeah. two more, right? Is, you, I use the son name. Let me I give can put Ababola too. <laughs> <laughs> no, you use the, you use the son name before the name. So you finish the chapter. Aye. I I'm giving you this food. I'm trying to think one one player I know from Manchester United, you know. Ah. You cannot remember. Just use our uh, we 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 have plenty a a a in super falcons. I've given you a four already. I don't know already. Four. That's all. No. I in day. I say Use I I use the son. I can't even remember. I, 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 I know I'm of Alima to I. See me, me, see no. me. I, I know. Her name is Alima to I. And I told you, I told you that I use the son. Her name is Alima to I. Okay, Alozi, Michelle. Her name is Michelle Alozi. I told you to use the son name. That I give you. Her name is Michelle Alozi. I give you for you. The names I call people. There's also Alessia Russo, but then the way they're calling their own names. I actually give you. We did not get. Scrap, scrap, scrap this episode out. Four. Now, okay, let me not make it simple for you. Yeah. Okay, name four coaches of female teams. Any four coaches, yes, in my head, uh -huh. Chelsea, Chelsea football, Ex um, Max Skinner, Manchester uh -huh. United, mm -hmm. Serena Wigman of uh, English, <laughs> no lionesses. Um, Spain has not team coach to change coach, actually. I can't remember his new name. <laughs> Um, Harvey of France national team. Harvey Renard. Harvey Renard. Ah. Uh, hey, Harvey Renard. Um, it have reached for. No, it's it four. It's four, right? Okay. Four. Ah, I don't know. South Africa, South Africans. Um, go. Um, what's her name? Four. That's it. Four. Okay. Um, Desire Ellis. Exactly. Me. I know some. Rest. I know some. Oh yeah. Next one. Okay. Three. Three female stadiums. Mm. That that you know now. Nah, okay. Emirates Stadium. No. What? That's not, that's not, that's not, that's not stadium. their stadium. I should call what? That's not their stadium. The main name of the stadium? Yes. Ah, well, I did. The name of the stadium because you know the, your club owns. The only one I know is my, my club owns. Yeah, yeah. Lee Sports Village. LSV. <laughs> Stephanie. <laughs> Camp <laughs> Nou. Camp Nou. <laughs> Camp nou. <laughs> they play Camp Nou. <laughs> Chelsea. Stamford Bridge. Leave it to the line. I don't care. Camp Nou. I will give you like that. I will give you. Yeah. I will give you. Okay, two. But seriously, though. I should, I should you should know. You should no, know. Is that, I don't, you I, see, I, the you, only, I only kick hand. off the least sports village. That's just the thing. I'll do better mm, next time. Exactly. Okay. Two. Two. Name. Ah. I'm just why, biting. Why, why I'm, I'm biting my. I'm biting my tongue. What's going to ask me now? Don't ask me very cracking it's question. Not, no. not cracking. Simple. Okay. Okay. Um. Name two. Types of. Um. Uh -huh. Now, I saw something recently. I saw. This is what I'm looking at you. Use it. Bombastic side eyes. Pem permit, don't give permit, me. Permit me to use it fast. I want it. This thing must be hard. She's advocate. Was, oh was yeah, talk. They are film. I won't go there. It's, <laughs> it's too discreet. <laughs> it's, I wanted to enter. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you. <laughs> okay, okay. This name, boy. Name two. Um, Champions League winners. Female Champions League winners. Barcelona, Olympic Lyon. Okay, and name. Oh, okay, the mini, mini players. Yes. Players. Um, not to the captain of the sides. Anyway, let's say players. Bomati. Okay, now name. World Cup winning captain from 2014 USA. to now. USA. I don't die. <laughs> 2014 to now. World Cup winning captain. I don't know. Now. I know for Spain, it's it's Olga USA, who, 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 I can't USA. remember who was captain of the USA. Megan? Megan was at some point, or, but or, or no. Or no, they should change. They should change. Megan they should change. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is embarrassing. I caught you on camera. Okay, you mentioned Olga Kamona. I'm not even sure that, Olga is the main captain. She's like the assistant captain. I thought hey, Amoso was the captain. Amoso. She wasn't. <laughs> God. I'm gonna fall my I'm hand. I'm so sorry. She fall all over my hand. Oh, uh, thank you so much for joining us in this exciting episode. Do well to follow us on social media platforms. On Instagram, we are at Better Sport underscore podcast. On Twitter, we are at Better Sport Sport. And on uh, TikTok. TikTok. 
at better spots underscore pod c yeah pod c mm. thank you so much see you later on the next episode bye